Shalom, 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 mash, uh, Of course, my name is Yashara Yau, and I want to welcome everyone for this late addition into this Shabbat day of rest. I bid everyone peace, blessings, and shalom. Um, this is just a PSA. Something has been stirring my, my ruach ever since early this morning when I opened up um, YouTube and I saw a particular video that is likened unto our previous video about you shall know them by their fruits. Now, with that being said, earlier today, I did enjoy, uh, no, not earlier, it was about, say, I don't know, about an hour and a half ago, I enjoyed some very sweet watermelon. And the topic of fruit it is what brought this on um, much deliberation and prayer because I'm just sitting there on the sofa trying to find a movie to watch, uh, playing a little Candy Crush and uh, other little mobile games that kind of just kind of keep me entertained for a bit until it's, uh, it's bedtime. And the topic of fruit came along, so I'm asking the Most High, and it's like, you know what, I'm speaking to him, and I'm just with all humility saying yeah of course you know I would love to do something on that subject so what I decided to do is um, I'm recording this now and I'm on the patio got the beautiful night sky you know the insects all about making their little music and the scenery is lovely so earlier today um, I saw a video that really just messed me up inside and I tend to try to not be in my feelings or not be in my emotions when it comes to the word of Yahuwah but can't help it a man because I love Yahuwah so much because he has saved me he has given me a way through Yahusha's sacrifice and the only way for me to be a part of that club, quote unquote, is for me to be obedient and to keep his commandments. Amen. That is the only requirement. And there is no application that we have to fill out. There is no processing fee. There is no one saying that their translation is the truth or is the real book of Matthew or the book of John that you will ever hear, a man. So when Yahuwah says that indeed we will know them by their fruits, this is what he is talking about. That we need to be of a discerning mind, that we need to be of a humble mind full of humility before entering into the presence of Yahuwah that he may give unto us his truth not the truth that we make up for ourselves but his truth so this is the main reason why I say in all of the videos that Yahuwah allowed me to make on this channel that may a great and mighty reprimand come upon me and my household if I come in error of the name of Yahuwah because I want not only the Most High Yahuwah, my Father, my friend, my healer, my redeemer, my, my, my doctor, my teacher, my instructor, my way maker to hold me accountable but I also want everyone who listens to the videos, everyone who takes part in commenting, hold me accountable. And of course, you know, my, 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 I would say a famous one-liner is always going to be, do not believe a word that comes out of my mouth, but instead of what we discern on any particular scripture, on any particular topic, take that back to Yahuwah in prayer, in the name of Yahusha, and ask him for his approval or for him to deny what I am saying. Amen. That is how we develop an intimate relationship 
with the Father, Yahuwah. Now, knowing them by their fruits is basically looking at a tree, seeing the fruit that it produced, and trying to discern whether or not that fruit is indeed good and right to eat. A man, we have got to discern, reason together, and come to an understanding. Take that understanding before Yahuwah in humility in the name of Yahusha and ask him, is what this individual who says he or she is a servant of you saying of you? A man, we have got to seek Yahuwah fervently and ask him if what Yashara Yahu is saying is, is what he's saying of you, Father, because I desperately need to know. A man, and this has happened to me, whereas I have heard something from someone and I have brought it back before Yahuwah and Yahuwah denied it, much like with the to account creation of man. A man, we have to come to a conclusion that, hey, if indeed Yahuwah did only create two people, then that would be in violation of his thura, whereas Yahuwah does not change, nor does he allow incest. Amen? So, what brought this late evening um, discerning of the word scripture study on is the fact that the video that I heard is of a fellowship out of the city of Philadelphia. Now, I heard the video. The video is about... Um, seven seven odd minutes long and in the video some very disturbing things came across or came into my ear canal and it's like i paused and i stopped and i i counted all of the violations not against me a man none of the violations are against me but the violations that i counted were indeed are indeed against the thura of Yahuwah. Amen. So real quick I just want to recount one of the main violations and that is there is nowhere in scripture nowhere that Yahuwah will say unto us you need to have an application to get with me. You need to fill out this application. You need to submit it to this person and that person is going to come before me and ask me if you can join their fellowship. This unto me in the defense of my father Yahuwah is indeed an abomination because Yahuwah said to himself that you, we, him, her, they and them are to go unto him, come unto him of our own choice and volition. And anyone who sits there and try to promote, advertise, and say that you have got to bring them an application to fellowship with them and they're going to bring it before Yahuwah on your behalf. And if Yahuwah denies you, then you cannot join their fellowship is an outright liar. A man is an outright liar. Let us look at Yerm Yahu Jeremiah chapter 23 verses 1 and 2 real quick. Because this is the epitome of knowing them by their fruit. Whereas Jeremiah, Jeremiah 23 verse 1 and 2 says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says Yahuwah. Therefore, now says the Most High Yahuwah, the Elohim, Alua of Yasharal against. That's a big word right there. Now says Yahuwah, the Alua Alahim of Yasharal against the passes that feed my people. You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, says Yahuwah. Now, if we understand that scripture in total, Yahuwah says, I kill and I make alive I destroy and I complete or heal there is none who can deliver out of his hands right so Yahuwah says that whatever I do 
in error of his name, of his word, of his set apart ruach, the evil of my doings will come back unto me. Amen. So I'm looking at the video, then I click on the link and I go to the page whereas they have the application that you got to fill out to join their fellowship. First, let me just go on record and say is that one, I have never asked anybody for money. I will never ask anybody for money because from Yahshi Yahu Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 Yahuwah says that he is my help I'm going through a little something a little rubble double right now but Yahuwah says that he is my help I ain't got to be in a certain profession whether it be singing or any other kind of job or employment whereas I no longer have that employment that I have to seek others because Yahuwah says that he is my help and if he said he is my help then he will indeed help me now I'm gonna get back to that singing part in just a minute but I'm looking at the um, the application and it's got a manner of questions on there that that to me are an abomination or against the Most High Yahuwah there are financial questions on there, whereas it asks if you will be able to participate in any capacity let me tell you something. If Yahuwah says that he is going to help you, you better you better you better know for damn sure Yahuwah is not a liar and he is going to help you. And that's 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 my that's my thing. I know that he is going to help me, so I've got to get out of my own way and make sure that I'm not falling into my own understanding cuz I know Yahuwah is going to help me. It's been a minute of this affliction that I've been in but 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 I have not wanted for no good thing a man so I'm looking at the application there's financial questions there's questions about do you approve of polygamy um, there is other questions about where whereas do you follow the lunar um, cycle of following or observing the Shabbat personally and scripturally that there is no scripture today that anyone can show me and if you can show me let us talk about it but I have found no scripture that says that we are to follow the moon or the lunar cycle to observe Yahuwah Shabbat whereas in the book of the Barium Deuteronomy and in the book of Shamut Exodus Yahuwah states it clearly and plainly that we are to observe the Shabbat on the seventh day. Remember the seventh day and keep it set apart. He says seventh. Yahuwah says, I do not change. He does not change. Therefore the sons of Yaakov, Yasharal, are not consumed. So if Yahuwah does not change, what does that mean? That his Shabbat does not change. The Shabbat is not, will not ever be on the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, or the fifth day, especially on the first day. A man, it is always concrete, stationary, unmovable on the seventh day. Father, if I am wrong, please send me a reprimand. See, that's what I feel individuals will never do. They're not going to ask Yahuwah for a reprimand, whereas I gladly ask for that reprimand. Nobody really wants to, to ask the Most High Yahuwah for, you know, hey, slap me on the butt when I'm wrong. Or send me an affliction because I am wrong and I've come by you wrong. Amen? So we have got to know them by their fruits, much like I, we was talking about in the first video about knowing them by their fruits when it when it pertains or as it pertains to um, um, pedophilia or domestic violence we have got to see these people for who they actually are especially in those areas of our lives whereas child abduction is I would say not on an all-time high but is up there whereas we go into the supermarket and we look to our left or to our right as we may be exiting said supermarket and you see a poster of missing children 
We have got to recognize. We have got to be sober-minded, a man. As we as as we learn in First Copper, First Peter five and eight, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may divide. We have got to be sober. We have got to ask Yahuwah for discernment, because personally, when you look up the word, Hallelujah. Whether you spell it with a J or a Y, that means praise the L-O-R-D. A man, you cannot use that word, that phrase in any kind of connection with Yahuwah. Because then it will be violating the Thurah, the Ten Commandments. You shall not bring the set-apart name of Yahuwah to not or to ruin. A man. And in using that phrase, in using A-M-E-N, that is bringing the set-apart name of Yahuwah to ruin. Because you are adding something that is giving praise unto a false deity. A man, and what did Yahuwah say? Yahuwah says, there is no God next to me. Yahuwah and Yahusha are one. A man. So I'm looking at the site, looking at the application, and I got like I said, it's just troubling. A man. It is just troubling. So this is whereas Yahuwah said in Yahshiahu Isaiah 62, 6. I have set a watchman upon your walls, O Yahushalam which shall never hold their peace day nor night. You that make mention of Yahuwah keep not silence. Amen. And here it is. A blessed evening. And what did the scripture just say? We who love the Most High Yahuwah and seek his reprimand when we are wrong, when we seek correction. Because what did Yahuwah say in the book of Yahudim Hebrews? That for all he receive for every person he he receives he chastens he corrects right so we are not to keep silent if we are guarding the word of Yahuwah then we must not only guard him within our own being as we are going to and fro in and about in the world in our daily activities but in a very respectful way and full of humility, we are to guard the Thura, the word of Yahuwah, and stand up and warn people when things like this happen. Again, Yahuwah did not give unto us an application or a line to get in that we got to fill out an application, submit our processing fee in order to fellowship with him. Amen. The only commandment he said in order to be a part of his kingdom, in order to receive of his esteem and righteousness, is that we keep his commandments. Amen. Yabalim Jubilees, I believe it is chapter 6, speak of the era of following the moon. And it says, and I believe it's in uh, verses 34 through 36, whereas it speaks and says, Notice they or some will observe the moon and how it comes in 10 days too early and disrupts the seasons. A man? With the moon, people are going to observe the, the Shabbat on multiple different days. That's what the other guy said that is basically, Father forgive me, hairless. This is the truth. This guy has no beard and no hair upon his head. Yahuwah, in all of his righteousness, in his Thura, in Bamada Bar Numbers, said that no baldness is to come upon our head. No, I'm, I'm sorry. That's in the book of Uyakra Leviticus. And um, in Bamada Bar Numbers chapter 15 verse 38 speaks about the fringes that we are supposed to uh, have around our waist. But the Yaudium and even the sojourner amongst us who are within our gates seeking for Yahuwah in the name of Yahusha, we are to have beards. 
We cannot cut. We cannot be bald faced. We cannot be bald headed. A man. I learned from the herbal um, healer Yaki Awaken, and what he relayed unto all of his listeners and followers is this: that our hair on our head, even on for our for the for for the men in our beards, is an extension of our nervous system. I mean, and I fully believe that because our hair brings in a certain amount of energy from the ether, from the energy that is of this world that is in the air, like radio waves. A man, it's what give gives us that fight or flight response. It helps us to our hair, helps us to read our environment. A man. So what did Yahoo I'm sorry, let me see. What did Yahusha say? And I believe it is the book of Matata you Matthew where he says that if any shall teach the commandments in such a way as to have people not follow the least of the commandments, then he too shall be called or she too shall be called the least in the kingdom of the Shamayim or the kingdom of Yahuwah. Amen. We have to have beards. We can't be bald headed. There are certain words and phrases that do not and should not ever be mentioned in the same sentence as the set apart name of Yahuwah and Yahusha. That's that's fact. That's scripture. If you love Yahuwah, if you love Yahusha, then we, a man, a man, a man, a man, we are to guard his thurai, and that's just what I'm doing right now. Yahshua U Isaiah chapter 62 verse 60 I have set a watchman upon your walls O Yerushalayim which shall never hold their peace day nor night and here I am this is like I said it's a peaceful night but this this person this fellowship group out of Philadelphia an application um, asking things upon this application that is just downright wrong it is against scripture and i just want you guys to be aware of it you may see it and again my my chief line of course is don't believe a word that is coming out of my mouth but take what we are talking about right now go in your secret place Bend those knees, bow that head, call out unto Yahuwah and ask him if, if, if what Yahshua Yahu is saying about this, this, this fellowship that is purporting that we sign an application true. Because again I say, there is nowhere in scripture where we have to fill out an application. To fellowship with Yahuwah. There is no need for us to fill out said application, give it to somebody else that we can actually see a man or a woman and have them go unto Yahuwah on our behalf because we can go to Yahuwah on our own behalf. Amen. This is why I say I am not a teacher, I am not a guru, I am not an apostle, I am not a scholar, I am simply a servant of Yahuwah and I have come with this word I have come with this warning I have come to to sound the alarm to to sound the shofar that the the believers the lovers of Yahuwah may know that you can go and look this up for yourself on YouTube and discern for yourself whether this is of Yahuwah or not because all I ever say is, let us discern together. I don't mind being corrected. And another thing about being corrected when I looked, when I listened to the video, the video says that if you are not of a mindset to be corrected, then you can't join them. So how is it that an individual or a fellowship, a group of people of this said fellowship 
is going to say unto those potential quote unquote members who want to join said fellowship need to be of a teachable mindset when they themselves are not of a teachable mindset. A man? I don't mind being corrected because I know for, for, for every time Yahuwah corrects me, it is like an unto salvation. Matter of fact, a commenter came on the channel and under, I think, the video, whereas we, we were talking and discerning uh, the burnt offering. And he was basically telling me that pink Himalayan salt is indeed the flesh of the Nephilim. And, and I took that to Yahuwah. I, I didn't tell this, this community member that, hey, you're wrong. I don't want to hear what you got to say. I said, you know what? This is crazy. So I go before Yahuwah in prayer. And the next thing you know, he started showing me a bunch of videos. Whereas there are rock formations that look like giants. There are rock formations that look like very large animals. Even mountain plateaus of flat plain ones look like cut off trees. So we know that the giants were real. We know that the Nephilim were real. We know that these, these, these fallen angels did indeed tamper with Yahuwah's creation making abominations of beasts and of 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 the children of man so when he said that the pink himalayan salt is indeed the flesh of the nephilim i was like damn so i immediately stopped using that with my burnt offerings and just of course use regular table salt so i'm just basically coming with this word a man, Yahuwah says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse, verse 11, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them or expose them. Now I am not bashing, I am not trying to in any way um, belittle or be malicious. But I am simply saying that if you indeed love Yahuwah, then you are going to look at this thing for what it is. You're going to look at anybody who comes in your peripheral view, in your line of sight, saying that they have a translation that is the best in the world, the realest in the world, that is the truth. Then you're going to say, Father, what of him? Is his fruit good? Is her fruit good? And then Yahuwah is going to show you which way to go. What does he say in his word? We're coming out of, uh, let's see, we're coming out of, I think it is, Mashaya Proverbs. A man? Or it could be Thalium Psalms. I'm sorry, I don't have it before me. But he says that a man's heart plans his way. But it is Yahuwah who directs his path. Or he directs our path. So our hearts are set on following Yahuwah. So when our hearts are set on following him, that's what we're going to do. We're going to follow Yahuwah. And he is going to lead and direct our path. Amen. And he is going to take us through the bushes, through the bride patch, through the scorpions, through the snakes. Through all the false teachers that call themselves teachers, through all those who are on YouTube and on social media who are coming in error of his name so that we can avoid their poisonous fruit. I don't need to fill out no damn application to bend my knees and to praise my father. I don't need to fill out no application to tell Yahuwah that I love him. I don't need to fill out no application to fellowship with nobody who is going to demean, denounce, and corrupt the word of Yahuwah. That is absolute fact. That is gold. You can take that check to the bank and it will cash. It will not bounce. A man? So I just wanted to bring this, uh, this quick word because, again, this thing, it weighed on me and it's just something that I really, really don't like. I don't like when people take the word of Yahuwah out of context. I don't like when people blatantly 
try to abolish the word of Yahuwah with their own opinions and leaning into their own understanding. Amen. I want, would like for everyone to look out, to be on the watch, to be sober minded. Because you don't need to fill out no damn application to fellowship with Yasharal Yahu. If I could have a space for all the feast days and then on top of that pay for everyone to come down out of my own pocket at no cost or expense to you guys, better, better bet your bottom dollar I'd do it just so we can fellowship together freely. Amen. I would not have it where anyone has to pay. I would want to pay it myself because this is how much I love Yahuwah and I want no less than he wants. Amen? So, keep your eyes open. Be of a discerning mind. Seek Yahuwah in all of his righteousness in the name of Yahusha for any and everything that comes into your mental space, into your head, into your ear canal, into your line of sight, into your peripheral vision. Amen. Because Yahuwah, Yahusha, has said that in the last days, false prophets will arise, come up saying that they are Yahusha, they are the Mashiach, and will lead many of us astray. I don't want that. I don't want no one led astray. And Yahuwah said to himself that it is not his will that any man should perish, but that all of us come to repentance. But he still did not say or still did not issue an application for all of the individuals calling themselves apostles, calling themselves pastors, getting on YouTube, put the video up saying claiming who's going to get into the kingdom if you ain't got your invitation yet then you won't have well i can't say it like that i'm gonna just say it like this here if you don't have your invitation then you don't get to tell anybody else who's getting in and who won't be in because you don't have one yourself i don't have one all i'm here to say is that if we love yahuwah and we want to see the kingdom of yahuwah the only way that we ought to see the kingdom of Yahuwah is indeed to keep the commandments of Yahuwah of which Yahusha echoed witness in the book of Matthew and said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen. That goes especially for his feast days. Of course, there are going to be those who say, we cannot keep the feast days here in this land of captivity. That is a lie. A man, we can keep the feast days. We can do all the things that Yahuwah loves because scripture does not read with an expiration date, nor does it read with a certain time period to do anything. You won't find, follow the lunar cycle in scripture about observing the Shabbat, a man. You won't find a commandment that authorizes polygamy in the word of Yahuwah. These things are readily researchable. We can read the word of Yahuwah for ourselves. You don't need me and you don't need anybody else. When it comes to Barashi, Genesis and trying to consider what came first whether it was the darkness or the light let me tell you something Yahuwah is a light as spoken of in the book of Yahukanan John he is the light he was there before his creation so the light came first and then the darkness of the earth that he created and then he created a sun when he separated the waters from above and below so the light came first it, 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 it does not seem right to follow darkness to honor Yahuwah who is the light. As a matter of fact, Yahuwah said that in the kingdom, in, the, in New Jerusalem, there will be no sun, there will be no moon, and there will be no sea. 
He will be our light. Amen? So let us discern the word. Let us, let us immerse ourselves in his word. So that we can be of a vigilant mind. Of a sober mind. Of a, of a, of a humbled heart. That we can receive of him his directions. His instructions. Because there are wolves in sheep's clothing. Seeking money and financial gain, notoriety and recognition for something they did not write nor did they create. And I will not sit by idle. I will not sit by silent while these individuals separate the pasture of our father, Yahuwah. Look unto them who speak a different word. For it is mentioned in the book of Mashiam X, I believe it is. Anyone who comes unto you preaching, speaking a different good news other than what Yahusha and his taught ones spoke, whether it be man or angel from the Shamayim, from heaven, if they come unto you speaking a different word, a different good news then they are accursed know that to be true Mashbacha. know that Yahuwah the mighty bar numbers chapter 23 15 I'm sorry 23 19 Yahuwah is not a liar he is not a son of man who lies nor, do, nor does he need to repent if he said it it will come true again I say Yerm Yahu Jeremiah chapter 23 verses 1 and 2 Woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture says Yahuwah therefore says Yahuwah the Elohim of Yasharal against the pastors that feed my people you have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them behold I will visit upon you the evil of your doing says Yahuwah. This is the fear of Yahuwah right there, right here and now. Because my fear of him is that I do not want that evil to come upon my head. Hell, I done had enough. A man. I have committed transgressions in my previous life. And I'm thankful for being chastised by Yahuwah knowing what that is knowing what that was knowing how that felt I do not want that again so no I seek his correction I ask for his reprimand and anyone worth their salt if anyone considers Yahuwah not only our father but a friend because we know that a friend sharpens the countenance of his friend that's what the correction of Yahuwah is. He is sharpening us and getting us ready. Amen. So I, I would love for everyone just to be on the lookout. For people like I am explaining or speaking of. This, this fellowship out of the city of Philadelphia. An application. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. No, you just pull in my leg. I got to fill out an application to fellowship with you, man. I will walk this path by myself before I fill out your application to fellowship with you because I can commune with my father on my own. I do not need you, nor your application, nor your backwards thinking. Amen. So again, family, I just wanted to come with this quick word. Humbled that Yahuwah allowed me to do so. Um, I hope your Shabbat went well, peaceful, restful. Maybe indulging in some fruit, watermelon, peaches, pineapples, whatever it may be, apples. You know, I, I had an apple earlier today, so um, watermelon added to it. Man, we need that good fruit. A man, we're after the good fruit. Of Yahusha. And the only way we can find and receive of Yahusha's fruit is to keep his commandments, is to be sober minded, that we don't let these individuals lead us astray. Amen. You have your own mind, 
You can go to Yahuwah for yourself in the name of Yahusha. Don't let these people mislead you. Amen. Now of that singer, I just want to say this real quick. Because this individual calls on Y-A-H-W-E-H. -H. And for the Mashiach, this individual says Y-E-H-O-S-H-U-A, whatever. See, this is the difference between Yahuwah and everybody else. And I'm going to say this real quick and I'm going to go to my seat. I have been without a job, without gainful employment for at least eight months now. And like I said earlier, I have wanted, needed for no good thing. A man, Yahuwah did not tell me to come on this channel and ask anybody for money. Yahuwah provided me so when he said in Yahshua Isaiah 41 10 and I am going to help you that I should fear not like I said about Bamada Bar Numbers 23 19 Yahweh is not a liar so when you go on to him with this information if you see the video that I'm speaking of because again I say I'm not here to bash or to be malicious in any way but if you happen to run across that video and look at it because the individual the, the video presenter say they're going to delete the video later that's suspect. But if you happen to go or come across that video be before it's deleted by this coming Monday, take it to Yahuwah and let him tell you that that individual is a liar. Let him tell you that what they are saying in that video is not of him. Amen? So I just want to say, I bid everyone peace. I bid everyone shalom. Um, Real quick, humbly Yahoo, we come before you in prayer on this Shabbat evening, on this blessed night, that you would give unto the readers, hearers, and doers of your word in abundance, that you would open up the windows of the heavens of the Shamayim and pour out a blessing that we won't have room to receive. Humbly, Father, I ask for your correction. I ask for your reprimand, if I have come in error of your name. But finally, Master, I pray absolutely that there was none of me and all of you. It is in the mighty name of Yahusha, I pray. Basham, Yahusha, a man. You precious babies out there speaking and talking up a storm. Again, Mashwacha, I want to thank everyone for inviting me into your space on this Shabbat evening. And I, and I pray unto Yahuwah in the mighty name of Yahusha that the rest of your evening is blessed, baruched, with rest. And again, if you get hungry, enjoy you some fruit. Until next time, Shalom.